Hey everybody, I went on TikTok and I asked a bunch of people how they would feel about me making like a little mini series on how to extreme coupon because I get questions a lot um, and I kind of like keep having to repeat the answers over and over and over again. So I thought maybe making an actual like multiple videos explaining every little thing in detail would help a lot. I got a lot of responses so um, this is me starting the little series. Whenever I say I'm going to try to make it simple, I mean, like, I'm going to start off with, like, this video is just going to tell you about the different coupons. And each video is going to get more and more advanced. Um, but if you look at the videos beforehand, um, like, if you watch them in order and you practice what's in the videos, it shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. I know a lot of people haven't couponed before and want to learn every little thing and not just like um, go off of what experts do. So I'm gonna keep that in mind whenever I am trying to explain things. With that said, this video will be all about the different coupons from different stores, how you use them, where you can use them, and if you can use them together. So let me show you. So here I have a bunch of different coupons. This first coupon is just something you may see on a receipt. This coupon is called a CRT. We typically see these at CVS. Here I have a booklet full of coupons that can be used at Walgreens. These are called IVCs. Here we have a manufacturer coupon. This is the most popular. Here we have an internet coupon. Um, this is also very popular. Here we have a store coupon, here we have a register reward, and here we have a Catalina. I will just be discussing all of these and how we can use them together or by themselves. And I will discuss digital coupons. I know a lot of those coupons just look the same to you, but they are different. So let's start out with the easiest one. So here we have a manufacturer coupon. This is the coupon that can be used anywhere that accepts coupons. This is the basic one you get out of the newspaper. Um, knowing the word manufacture is very, very important. Manufacture just means uh, it came from the company and can be used anywhere. So this one, um, you always want to look at um, this little fine print. And luckily I found one that has some important information that you should look for. So the very first one you see is limit one coupon per purchase. Now this is something that the cashiers at a store may get confused with because typically they mean, oh, they, the peop some people think that means you can only use one per transaction. That's not the case. Limit one coupon per purchase means you can only use one coupon for each item you buy. So you can't use two coupons. Let me actually, let me rephrase that. You can't use two manufacturer coupons on the same item. That is what limit one coupon per purchase means. Next, we have limit of two identical coupons per household per day. That means you can only use two of these coupons in one transaction. Um, some people may not let you use it more, more than twice in a day. That's really dependent on the store you go to and who is taking your coupons at the register. But that is the big difference between these two statements. One per purchase means one coupon, one manufacturer coupon per item. Two identical coupons per household means two in one transaction. Next, we have the internet coupon. This is the exact same thing. These are the same coupon. They look different, but they, they, they are the exact same. Um, so you cannot use these together. Why? Because they both say manufacture coupon and they are for the exact same item. So you cannot use two of these on one item, but you can use two of these for two items. Hopefully that makes sense. Some internet coupons will not say manufacturer's coupon. Some internet coupons might say a store name. Um, if that is the case, 
then they can only be used at that store. But if they say manufacture, just like the paper coupon, you can use them anywhere that accepts coupons. This will have the same fine print that this one has um, because it's the same coupon just off the internet. Uh, be sure to look through the fine print to see what the rules and exception of the, the coupon is. Something else that you should always look for whenever you have coupons is um, the size of the product. So here it says excludes 2 ounce and 2.7 ounce. So if you get those items, this will not scan for it. And if it does, you are abusing the coupon. Okay, so be sure not to abuse coupons. Do not use it on the wrong product. Be sure to use it correctly because if you abuse coupons, then they will take them away from us. Back whenever, whenever I started couponing in 2013, it was way more fun than it is now because people have just been abusing it since then. So do not abuse what the coupon says. Next coupon we're going to look at is a store coupon. Um, ignore the fact that I have this covered up. I just don't want someone to use it because I haven't got to use it yet. Um, but anyways, to know if the coupon is a store coupon, you want to look right here where it says Target Coupon. If it has the store name, that is a store coupon. If it says Manufacturer Coupon, that is not a store coupon. Just like a manufacturer coupon, it is very important to read the rules of the fine print. This one specifically has so many exclusions. Um, since this can be used on anything, it tells you the things that cannot be used in the store. So if I go to um, Target and try to use this on some Apple AirPods, it will not work because it excludes Apple products. So always, always, always look at the fine print no matter what coupon you have. A cool thing about store coupons is they can be combined with manufacturer coupons. So if I want to use these two coupons together, I can do that. Um, because one says manufacturer and one says target. Since they are not the same kind of coupon, they can be combined together. Also note that just like the manufacturer coupon, you cannot use two of the same manufacturer coupon on one item. You cannot use two of the same store coupon on one item. So please remember that also. You can also use a store coupon with an internet print since the internet print is the same thing as the paper um, coupon. But you cannot, no, 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 you cannot do this because these two are the exact same coupon for one item. You cannot do that. You have to pick one or the other and then combine it with the store coupon. The next coupon we are going to discuss is a Catalina. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but sometimes when you go to a store such as Kroger or Walgreens or CVS, um, it'll spit out a long piece of paper like this and it might tell you a deal on it or something. These are Catalinas. Typically, it is triggered by certain things that you buy in the store. Um, this one is one of my favorite ones to get because um, it's basically like a store coupon because see how it says Walgreens? Uh, we know that this is a store coupon because it says Walgreens and it does not say manufacturer. If you look very closely, it says store coupon. I can only use this at Walgreens. Um, some Catalinas will be manufacturer. So if you look here, maybe it will say manufacturer coupon. That means that Catalina can be spent at any store that accepts coupons. So this is really important to look for. This specific coupon is a store coupon, which means I can combine this with manufacturer coupons to lower the price of my transaction. Um, so this specific $9 off $30 purchase would be a really good deal to get with like a buying a bunch of items up to $30 that you have a lot of coupons for, and then you add this on top of it to make it even cheaper. Next coupon I'm going to discuss looks a lot like the Catalina, but it is not the same. This is what we call a register reward. This is only used at Walgreens. Um, it's weird because it says manufacturer coupon. 
So that can be very confusing. But if you look down in the fine print, it says redeemable only at Walgreens. So don't get too confused when you see the manufacturer coupon. Um, I know that's what I tell, just told you to look for. But since you're reading that fine print and you see only redeemable at Walgreens, you then know that um, you cannot take this anywhere else. So basically the register rewards are a reward program that Walgreens has. It's similar to their point system. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm going to make a whole video on Walgreens later on in this little How to Extreme Coupon series. But um, this can be used with um, manufacturer coupons. So you can have uh, this coupon go with this. You can have this go with this. And you can have these two go together. So this might be where it gets confusing, okay? Because these are both store coupons. Um, but they're two different coupons, okay? So this coupon is a store coupon that has a deal offer on it. $9 off $30. This $5, since it is a register reward, this, and the people at the store will tell you, this is treated as money because it is a reward system. So if you go in there, this is like giving them $5. Doesn't matter what you buy, doesn't matter what coupons you put with it, this is $5. So it can, can be combined with pretty much any coupon that you have. The next coupon we're going to talk about is also at Walgreens, as you can see. So this is called a Super Savings Savings Book. Um, they have a new one every month. This one says November. Whenever you open it, you will see a bunch of different coupons. And you might think, oh, I have to cut these out, but that is not the case because these are IVC coupons. So what that means is that these are store coupons for Walgreens um, that can be combined with manufacturer coupons. So the difference between this and any of their other store coupons is that they scan this code right here and it will be taken off for every, I every one of these items in your transaction. So let's say that you buy, let's find a popular item in here for an example. Um, here's some diapers, some pamper diapers. So let's say you buy three packages of Pamper Super Pack diapers, okay? And you scan this $5 off coupon. Since you bought three of these, this one coupon is going to take $15 off your transaction. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So one coupon, one scan, multiple items if you have them. And you get to keep this coupon. You can use this coupon as many times between these dates as you would like. And these, this book is available to everybody. It is usually in the front of their store. If you don't have one of these, definitely get one. Um, ask one of your Walgreens employees um, where you can find it. Because there are tons and tons and tons of coupons that you can combine with your manufacturer coupon and your register rewards and possibly a store coupon. So um, this is a Catalina, but if you have a store coupon that is the exact same as this, you cannot combine them because this is already a store coupon. You can't use two of the same exact coupon on one item, okay? Since these are two different coupons, um, I'm able to use them. So hopefully that makes sense. The next coupons I want to talk about are CRTs. Um, these are coupons that come at the end of your CVS receipt. Um, you can also possibly maybe get coupons from Walgreens. I usually just see them at CVS. So basically a lot of people make fun of these because these are the ones that come out super long and then you see people pretending like they're huge scarves or taking pictures with them because they're so long. That's these coupons. I 
specifically got the ones that I'm holding from the Red Machine in CVS. If you do not know what that is, please ask someone at your CVS because one of those boxes are super important. You can scan your CVS card and get some of these CRT coupons. Now to talk more about these, uh, these are um, these are store coupons. So these can only be used at CVS because um, it's kind of confusing because it says MFR, which stands for manufacturer. Um, and a lot of people would assume if it says MFR, then you can use this anywhere. But that's not the case because the number one rule is to write, read the fine print. And the first thing it says is extra care card required. And you only can get an extra care card at CVS. So these can only be used at CVS. Since it can only be used at CVS, that means this is a store coupon. Since it is a store coupon, it can be combined with a manufacturer coupon. So you can put these together. Um, obviously not these specifically, but you get the point. Um, two of them together. If you have a Catalina that came out of um, the machine, that's a manufacturer. This one's store, so you can't use this one specifically. But if you have one that is a manufacturer, you can use that with that. Because um, that would be the same as using this with that. Kind of confusing. But just know that this can be stacked with a manufacturer coupon. This was a coupon I was just going to add in there. Um, you can find coupons at the end of your receipt a lot at Dollar General. So be sure to keep an eye on that. This coupon you can get every week for Saturdays only. And it helps you do a lot of deals that I might post about at Dollar General on the weekends. Now that I've explained all of those coupons, I want to start talking about the digital coupons. Um, I'm currently on my phone, which is what you would usually use for digital coupons. So I am going to show you the coupons on my computer and try to explain them. So I shop at Walgreens a lot, so I figured I would just show you the Walgreens digital coupons, which are right here under coupons. So here we have different types of digital coupons. This one, pretty much any of them, are going to be manufacturer coupons. So any of them that show a product, here, 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 these are all manufacturer, which means you can stack them with a store coupon or an IVC, which is really awesome. This one here, I've had a lot of people ask about. I'm just going to make it bigger, see if it shows me. Here we go. Okay, so it says get 10 times everyday points when you spend $20. So. Anyone who doesn't know, Walgreens has um, a thing where they give you points per item that you buy. And it's a very small amount of points, um, unless you're doing a deal that gives you a bunch of points back. But this one is just saying that it's giving you 10 times the points that they would normally give you. Which is pretty nice. If you spend $20, then you should definitely have this clipped. Actually, just always have this clipped. I don't have a clip. Let me clip it. Just always have it. Um, on your account, just in case you forget about it, it will just be there. So all of these manufacture coupons, manufacture, manufacture. But since they're digital, they can only be used at Walgreens. And a very important thing to know is that you can only use each one of these one time. So once you use it once, it will disappear. Um, actually right here, you can see available clipped so clipped means that i have it ready to be used so here are ones that i have available if i want to use them and then redeemed are ones that i've already used oh i'm not signed in um basically if i was signed in it would show me that all it would show me all the coupons that i've already um used in the in the past the most important thing about digital coupons are one the expiration date Two, knowing that it's a manufacturer coupon, right here, see it says, if you, because what I did to do this was I clicked the uh, view details, it tells you right there, manufacturer coupon. So if you 
have a digital coupon and it is a store coupon, it will tell you here. So from there, you would treat it just as you would you treat um, a paper coupon. So if you have a paper manufacturer coupon, pretend like this is paper. That's really all it is. It tells you when it expires, what time it expires, um, and what you can buy. So here, buy two boxes of Quaker Instant Oatmeal. Pretty simple. And then once again, there's fine print. So be sure to read through that because that's also very important. Now that I have explained every coupon to you that I can think of at the top of my head, we now have a pop quiz. I have made pretend coupons and I'm going to ask you whether or not they can be combined together or ask them what stores they can go at or whatever. Each question will be a yes or no question. I will ask it. I'll put a little bit of time gap in there and then I will answer it for you. If you get it wrong, try to rewatch the video and figure out what went wrong. If you still don't understand why you got the answer wrong, um, comment something because obviously like I need to learn how to explain it more. So here is your pop quiz. Okay, so here's our first question of our pop quiz. You are going to Dollar General and you are wanting to buy this lady speed stick, okay? You have two coupons. One coupon is a paper coupon you got from the newspaper. It is a manufacturer's coupon. It gives you a dollar off any one lady speed stick. Your second coupon is a digital coupon. It is also a manufacturer's coupon. It gives you a dollar off any one lady speed stick. Can you put these two coupons together to buy this item? I'll wait and see what you guys say. I'll let you look at it a little bit more. The answer is no. You cannot combine these coupons. The reason you cannot combine these coupons is because they are both manufacturer coupons and they say the same thing. So if they say the same thing and they are both the same coupon, you cannot use it on just one item. You would have to have two deodorants and you do not have two, you just have this one. So no, you uh, cannot do that. Question number two. Here we have the coupon that I showed you earlier from Target and here we have an iPhone. Just a simple question. Can you use this store coupon on this iPhone? I'll let you think about it. And I'll zoom in on here. Okay, so the answer to this question is no. You cannot use this coupon on this iPhone. Why? Because the coupon states right here that it excludes Apple products. You cannot use it on this. You have to look at the fine print of the coupon. Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, the next question is a little tricky. So here we have some Kiss nails and we have some Kiss lashes. Here are the coupons that we have for this deal. One is a paper coupon that says buy one kiss item get another free so basically buy one get one free it is a manufacturer coupon the second coupon we have is also a paper coupon it says save two dollars off any kiss nails um and it's a manufacturer's coupon so we have two items that are both kiss one's nails one's lashes we have two coupons one is buy one get one free and one is dollar off one product so the question can we combine them for these two items i'll let you think about it the answer is 
No. Nope. Um, it's a tricky question. A lot of people think that they can combine these. Sometimes uh, people abuse the system by combining these two type of coupons. But we cannot because a buy one get one free is for two items. So that means this coupon is going for this item and this coupon is going for this item. And you cannot combine two manufacturer coupons on one item. So since this one automatically connects to both of these items, you cannot connect this one to one of them also because that would mean one of them is using one coupon and then the other one would be using, or well, I guess this one's for nails. So like both of these would be for this one and then this one would be for this item. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can't have both of these coupons com connecting to this one product if they are both manufacturer coupon. Okay, so let's do the same scenario, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. So this is question number four. So let's say the buy one, get one free coupon was a store coupon. Uh, and your $2 off one kiss nails is a manufacturer coupon. Can you combine these two coupons? I will wait and see if you guys can figure it out. The answer is yes. You can combine these deals. Um, that means this; these would be super cheap if you were able to do this because you can have a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon together. So basically this would be going to both of them they would both be getting this coupon um, and then this would be also going to that one so this one would have two coupons with it one store one manufacturer and this one would have one manufacturer no no sorry this would have one store coupon connected to it so those are okay okay here is the last scenario i'm going to put on your little pop quiz this is number five. So we have Walgreens. We are at Walgreens. We have three different coupons. We have an IVC, which remember that is from the book here. Okay. So we have an IVC that gives us $1 off one clear eye product. So here we have clear eyes. Uh, IVCs are store coupons. The second thing you have is a paper coupon from the newspaper for a dollar off one clear eyes product. It's a manufacturer coupon. And three, you have a register reward worth $3. Can you combine all three of these together? The answer to this question is Yes, you can. You can definitely combine all three of these together, which would be a really, really, really good savings. Well, that is all I have to tell you guys about coupons. Um, if you liked the little pop quiz thing and you want more questions, let me know. I could probably do something like that because I did not give you questions about everything I talked about. Just some like more important scenarios that come up most of the time. Um, also, if you feel like there was something that you just did not understand, or maybe um, I didn't explain it clearly, please let me know so that maybe I can add it in my next video, or maybe do like a post on my website that explains it better, um, something like that, and it can also help me with my next video, um, because I will be doing multiple videos trying to explain as easily as possible. So if I don't know that it's hard for you, then I'm probably not going to make it any easier because I don't know any better, if that makes sense. So please let me know um, what your thoughts of this video were. Um, and you can put that in the comments below. That's it. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video on the next how to extreme coupon.